Hey, how's it going? Spy here with another Scrap Mechanic Fallout Shelter episode. Now you guys have probably already noticed that the cave here already looks a little darker. And that's because I actually downloaded Durf's new night mod. And it makes the whole Fallout Shelter look amazing. So we got some little spotlights here to kind of show the vault entrance here. And it looks great guys. We're gonna head into the vault. And we are going to check out some of the new additions as well as checking out what the new mod does to the Fallout Shelter as a whole. Because it looks a lot darker and this mod is very lore friendly too because some vaults were a little more gloomy than others. And as you guys can see the lights up there add so much atmosphere with this new mod. Look at that. Anyways we're going to close the door now so it stops this annoying alarm. There we go. I still have to fix that so the alarm stops once the door is actually closed. Same with the lights. But anyways, let's head down to the atrium. We're going to hop in the elevator here and press the button there. And here we go. Now the elevator is a lot more stable now. It doesn't glitch out. Still do have to fix it a little bit here and there. But anyways, let's enter the atrium here. And here we are, guys. Look at this. The lighting is so great now. It was good before the mod, but it makes it look a lot more Fallout-like. Looks really good, actually. But anyways, before we go down to the bottom floor of the atrium, let's just take a look at the fallout shelter and check out the new lighting. Look at this. The hallways are nice and dark and gloomy. Over here, this will lead us to the overseer's apartment. Now, I don't know why, but his apartment is a little more gloomy than it should be, so I might add a little more lights here and there. But I figured out that if you add too many of these lights, in one little area, it'll actually cause some pretty big frame drops. Now I'm still getting about 210 frames per second, so I'm not seeing that too much yet. Anyways, there's dog meat, guys. He looks happy. He looks happy that he's hiding in the dark by himself. <laughs> Let's head over here. Look at this, guys. This looks great. Someone suggested that I should actually add some lights going to the desk of the overseer. And that makes it look great with this mod. Look at that. So cool. And over here look down it doesn't look much different from here but anyways that's pretty much it for this area i think i need to add a light right here maybe one light right like right there would be good to kind of give the visitors some light while they're hanging out on the couches looks good looks good i'm gonna have to change all of these because i figured out a better design for them um, I'll show you guys in a bit what they look like now but anyways let's head down to the atrium and check out some of the new features Alright, here's the staircase down to the atrium. It looks very creepy and gloomy. And here we are, guys. The bottom floor of the atrium. Now, there's no way for me to actually put up signs telling which areas are which. But we have these here uh, to kind of make it look like the actual signs. But I think what they looked like, they looked a little more pink, I think. I, I don't know. I think a normal red like this would be good for now, I guess. Anyways. We're going to check out these little rooms here. This here, I don't actually know what this was in Fallout 3, but I kind of copied it. And I'm just going to call this the maintenance room because it is pretty small. There was some computers in here and there was also, uh, I think, a few mops and random shelving units. As well as stuff scattered around here. Uh, there we go. This is the new vent I was talking about. It looks much better. It looks like an actual vent instead of the vent covers that pop over the walls. Plus it saves some space for building as well. Looks pretty cool. Anyways, over here, we actually have a Nuka-Cola machine. This was actually built by Mr. Kroka. Um, he makes some amazing things. I never could pronounce his name right, even though I asked him. But there it is, a Nuka-Cola machine. I don't know if they usually have these in vaults or not, but this is an exception because uh, this is my vault. Supplies are limited though. Get them while you can. They're not free though. <laughs> That's what it actually says in the... Um, description here. It ain't free. We got a few more things sent to me as well, including this power armor, as well as this fat man. But these are going to be going in the armory once I actually build it. But anyways, this has been a very requested room right here. And if you guys have played Fallout 3, you know exactly what this room is. And this is actually the cafeteria. So we're going to head down. And it looks very, very similar to the Fallout 3's cafeteria. Wait, it's dark down here, and that's because I actually added a light switch here. There we go, guys. Look at that. 
I think it's a little more dark than it was in the games. But this just looks great, don't you guys think? Very cool. There's one thing we are missing though, and I built this with my buddy Ryan before um, uh, the map crashed on us. And then I had to load up a different one because it wouldn't work. We are building the actual cake from Fallout 3 because it fits. It fits the theme plus it fits the channel, I guess. So there we go. Paint it white and then it would be a cake. I guess the candle. I don't know what color the candles were. Maybe some blue like this. Oh, maybe maybe like this and then red. Yeah, that looks like a cake, I think. Pretty cool. But anyways, guys, there is the cafeteria. We got the counter here where the Mr. Handy robot named Andy. <laughs> Mr. Handy named Andy. Uh, attended the counter here and actually cut the cake for us and ruined it. Oh man, Andy. Well, he is a maintenance robot after all. He wasn't made to cut the cake. <laughs> but there we go. That's the counter. We got this coffee machine here. Some cups laying around. We got a shelf here with some cups on it as well. And we got the jukebox here. Looks pretty cool. I might improve on this, but I didn't have much room to build it. We got the notice board here as well. And we got the little counter here with the window going into the apartment hallway. Now, the apartment hallway isn't built yet because I might be doing that in a later episode. But it's there. We got the door there. It's closed. Doesn't work. And right there, we got the happy maker that displays text. Don't forget to exercise regularly. Don't forget to take your pills. And we will make America great again. I, I'm, I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But anyways, we got some nice chairs here. They actually look very similar to the chairs from the cafeteria in Fallout 3's Vault 101. There is a bunch of different ones in the actual other vaults though, but I really like this design. But the tables are a little lower, so I had to add these lips here. But that's fine. Looks great. But anyways, that's the cafeteria, guys. It looks pretty good with the lighting here and the night mod. And if you guys want to check out this map as well, you don't have to have the night mod installed, but all you have to do is install the map and play on it, even though the mod makes it look so much better. I forgot to actually um, add a little barrier here telling people to stand back. I don't know if this one actually had it or not, but there we go. We got the little maintenance area here as well as the cafeteria. I'm not sure what I'm going to be adding next. Maybe the little storage room here or maybe the apartments. There's a lot of possibilities what we could add. If you guys have any suggestions at all, please let me know in the comments. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the new rooms. The little cafeteria here and the little maintenance room here didn't take as much time as the overseer's office or the atrium because they're not as big. So more episodes should be coming out soon. If you guys want to see more, please let me know in the comments as well. And if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like. And thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.